Hello and welcome back to Lord Fenton Gaming Plays Near Winter Nights Hands Edition Infinite Dungeons. I'm your host, Lord Fenton. In this part 24 of Near Winter Nights Hands Edition Infinite Dungeons video, we're still at Lord Anton's Den. This time we're going to start level 2. Yes, we're actually going down the stairs to level 2. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Never Winter Night Enhanced Edition videos like this. Do not forget to hit notification bells to be updated more. Last video, we finally finished up exploring most of level 1. Let's not waste any more time. Go on down the stairs to, you guessed it, level 2. I am going to go ahead and officially say it. Welcome to level 2 of Lord Octon's Den. So uh, let me uh, park everybody else here except for myself. This is a nice clear area in the desert, so let's uh, go ahead and map this out. So this is a desert tile set. Okay, this is like the uh, other level, so that is uh, good. So there are three paths I could go to. Either way, I'm going to have to go clockwise. Hopefully I get the right path. So let's uh, explore this. Also, I have an item too that will help me out definitely a uh, big time. You uh, guessed it on uh, if a certain item is uh, there for the uh, broodmother. Otherwise, let's explore. That was very simple, so let's uh, keep on exploring. Let's see what this is. Okay, it looks like it's a tent. That's an encampment. Unfortunately, the encampment is empty. That's a huge uh, bummer. That's all right. So you know what? It's time to uh, go ahead and check the rest of this uh, level out. It seems this part is short, but it's good. At this point, I really do need a uh, shop. Yeah, my uh, bags are seriously uh, filling up big time. So there's the map. I'm going to double check. Yeah, as always, double check the uh, map. So uh, let's uh, go uh, this direction, see if I could uh, clear out some more foes. So it's time to uh, go into combat once again.
for a uh, zone like this, it was very short of uh, combat, which is uh, very good. So here's the deal. We're about to complete Pert's quest, which is 3k experience points, 3k gold, and also extra experience points for finding a certain item, which is this uh, rune stone. So uh, with the rune stone now, what we're going to go ahead and do is go talk to Pert. Unfortunately, we're going to lose uh, Pert in the party, but that's all right, because uh, Pert was helping us. I forgot the time to remove the items off of Pert, but that's okay. Once again, I just want to get the experience points. That's all I uh, cared about, which was very important. So let's uh, go back to the entrance, get everybody, and then we'll loot everything up. Good idea at this point to start doing quests. If you uh, want to uh, go ahead and do so, I might have to do some off screen if I need it. So let's uh, rest up and then uh, get Pert over here, get her quest complete. Unfortunately, she'll be gone. She has some nice uh, gear. Hopefully, we do not meet her ever again. Yeah, she was all right, but still, I'm much better. So let's uh, go ahead and speak with uh, Pert. Yo, see my expectations. 3K gold experience points. All right, we uh, got the quest done. Unfortunately, Pert has left the party. So that's the bad news. An extra uh, luggage is gone, I should say. So since uh, we are done with this level, basically, it's time to loot everything up. Yeah, as always, clean up the zone. I am using a pet to uh, do so. Let's uh, use the item. The scary amulet is on a level below this one. I don't know if that's south or uh, one level uh, below. We will uh, see. I'm going to still try to explore as much as I can, get to the stairs, and that's that. I might do is just uh, clear out, like, for example, the bottom layer areas. Then uh, move it to the top, make things a lot more uh, easier for me. Yeah, I have a map. I get to map things out my way. Oh, wow. Alignment slaying. That was all right. That's good to uh, sell. Uh, you come over here. You're going to get me uh, some loot. All right. Let's uh, check this out. Let's, let's see here. Uh, I will have to go to a vendor for uh, that. If it's real good, I'll update everybody. Otherwise, no update is needed see here I forgot to loot this up myself good thing I uh, forgot to because there are traps in there I don't want to you know burn myself that'll be a bad idea click a spell casting level uh, zero wizard spells that's all right and let's see here plus two uh, leather oh we'll sell it though oh uh, minor glove of invulnerability that is a uh, nice yeah these uh, potions are uh, really a uh, good in this uh, infinite dungeons at times Hopefully they'll let me uh, carry it over. If not, oh well. Hopefully all my uh, weapons do carry over uh, too. Let's uh, see here for a second. All right, let's uh, check. Nothing else is there. And yeah, I will be transferring uh, this character at some point for the uh, last module for Neverwinter Nights so 1 Enhanced Edition. Yeah, that's when I'm going to do it. Looks like that's a hand there. I don't know if that's important or maybe not. Still, we'll use as a marker. And we need to get the level 3 for this short person. Yeah, this uh, tank. So, that's a good thing. Let's check this out. Yeah, for some reason, I'm not seeing the 3k experience points, but that's alright. I think it's uh, there. So, let's check the box out. That looks good. A whole bunch of dead bodies I need to check. Let's see here. I think it's time to get you to uh, open up. Yep. You're going to hold this. Okay, that's armor. I'll have to then fight myself. That's full. Yes, yeah, from the last set of videos. Oh, wow. I am really uh, getting there. Yes, yeah, see here. Okay, plus two bullets. That's fine. Let's uh, check this out. Thunderstone. That's uh, good, too. Oh, okay, that's an okay helmet. That's all right. Let's uh, check these uh, werewolves. There's a duchesses, too. Yeah, they really use uh, Dungeon Dragon... Uh, Wolf Emmy upgrades, which is a goodness uh, module. I mean, uh, the uh, Bioware Premium modules, they're great in the day. I am not sure about the uh, Beam Dog ones yet. I want to try uh, many of them. Well, actually, there's a total of three. One of them's already good. It's the uh, Dagger uh, Ford one, I think it's called. It's uh, based off of a free module, but they put some enhanced edition stuff in it, which is real nice. Uh, free or not, I don't care. It's a good module. It's one of the uh, good ones. Oh, wow. Divine Power. This is good. And there's also uh, Tyrant of the uh, Moon Sea. I heard that is really uh, nice, too. And then there's uh, one that's related to the Avernus uh, one. 
I think a city gets uh, sucked into Vernus. You gotta escape uh, somehow from that uh, fate. It's kind of like the uh, Neverwinter uh, module where uh, some certain uh, stronghold gets sucked up and then you have to do is uh, make sure you uh, escape at all cost. I can't wait to uh, play that though because I did enjoy in the Neverwinter uh, MMO the Descent to Avernus. That was actually uh, pretty good. I cannot wait to play Baldur's Gate 3. There are some elements from Descent into Avernus too. And I think the developers... Uh, they have their own story. A uh, certain place uh, is uh, back from Avernus. I'm not spoiling it, but I know the deal. I read the uh, developer interview about that. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and finish up looting this uh, level up before I uh, get to the next zone. We're going to do uh, two zones in this video. I'm starting to feel these zones are starting to get slightly bigger and bigger. Hopefully, it's not to a point uh, where it's a really giant zone per uh, zone. I don't want that at all. But oh well, I know the uh, dungeon layouts will be much more uh, bigger. The map's starting to get bigger, I am noticing. Every dungeon set. Okay, that is uh, it's a certain damage immunity. That is uh, alright. I'm going to sell it. Now I have my uh, halfling uh, being a bag person. The uh, other one's gone, but still I want to complete the quest. That was uh, more important than uh, that. Let's see here. Okay, I think I am done. Oh, oh I forgot the boxes. And let's see. Oh, okay, that is a core staff identified. I'll take care of that as soon as I find a shop. All right, I can fit that in that bag. Gauntlets, too. Yes, so let's see here. Cloak of skill. Boo! That wasn't worth it. Let's grab this. That's a good uh, gem. Yeah, I have to start organizing my uh, bag. Eventually, I will uh, definitely. Mertz whiskey! I think someone needed that on level one. I'm going to hold on to much of it as uh, possible. And then I might just do a deposit run once I have, uh, again, uh, uh, just only uh, one henchman and, of course, a mercenary. Let's see here. We're almost uh, done, so it looks like I think I looted everything up. I am about to uh, go south. As always, uh, make sure you uh, do save your uh, game. You may never know the uh, situation. I'm going to do that. Let's check the map. So, yep. Yeah. Looks like uh, we're going that way. Oh, wait a second. The uh, map says I think I'm going, uh, yeah, I am going south. So I'll start with the top part of the map. Again, save often, save early. If not, you lose your progress. You really don't want to lose your progress on level two, do you? Especially have a nice setup like uh, this. So I'm done saving. I'm going to go inside. However, once I enter, I'm going to have to clear the area. I will be back after everything is done. <laughs> This is very nice. I just uh, broke the zone entrance. I uh, always uh, love doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some loot. Let's see, gloves of safety, saving throw versus mind affecting spells. Where I go for immunity stuff, that's much better. Align defender, 
KI neutral. Oh, that's nice. Let's see here. The shield, damage resistance. All right. I got my halfling, uh, of course, uh, carrying all this stuff now. <laughs> uh, wait. Oh, wait. Why did I? Okay. Why did I just do that? I'll grab it back from him. Ring of Spellcasting Sorcerer level 0. Wish it was Bard level 1 or 2, but I really don't need Bard spells at this point. I just used the Bard class. Uh, I'm going to be a blunt. Just to A, uh, have ability to cat use wands. And uh, B, to uh, definitely uh, get to the Red Dragon Disciples this way. Eventually down the line, I'll become a Black Guard full time. Once I am done, of course, with the 10 levels. Yeah, I'm going for the uh, bonus strength. Then I don't have to uh, do uh, much work for uh, the uh, Blackguard class. Okay, I cannot uh, use that. That's all right. Okay, that's weird. Let's uh, check this out. Uh, same thing with the ring. Let's uh, go ahead and put that there. All right, this looks good. I think I'm going to check this way. I have a feeling I have to go through a battle. So here we go. I believe this dungeon is 100% uh, done. Look at that. We found a shop. All right. This is uh, good. We will uh, come back to that later on. All right. It's a uh, gray uh, slid. Or a uh, gr uh, gray slod. Or whatever they call it. Still, a nice vendor. Let's uh, go ahead and get everybody together. Yeah. Come on, you two. You come with me. Uh, come on. You could do it. Yeah. <laughs> Both those characters are walking real slow. Okay, I did as I went south. There's only one direction. That's uh, good to uh, know. Next video, I could go is east and then uh, go north. 
and that should uh, loop around. And then I'll just uh, make sure I get the top two layers done. Unless I find the stairs and it's uh, down, then I cannot leave this dungeon until I get that uh, Broodmother item. Also, uh, get this little guy some things too. And everybody else. Yeah, I'm not going to do the boss this time until I complete some things. And get some extra experience on the way uh, out. Yeah, I'm going to try level up. Now, if anything of that happens off screen, I'll uh, update everybody. So let's uh, check this out. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 15 damage. Yep, these are uh, normal grade traps, so I will have to be uh, much more uh, careful. I have a gut feeling uh, the traps will be much more uh, devastating as I go along, of course, the dungeon sets. Let's grab that. All right, so far so uh, good. We need some nice uh, loot. There are some dead foes. Oh, look that. It's a friendly succubus. This is uh, good. Okay. Good. We're friends. That's good. She's looking for Halister's uh, Lolly. I do not know what that is, but it's on level 2 and 3. This is a good thing. We're going to get her to join the party. Uh, besides, she uh, fits my style. And it's uh, 144 gold and experience points for each one I get. So we have to search in containers now. That's uh, good to know. Unfortunately, I think her equipment will be limited. So I'm going to have to focus on, of course, uh, rings, belts, you name it. Armor, I cannot get her to use unless it's cloth. Hopefully it is cloth. Then I'll uh, get her a nice uh, cloth armor. Still, our uh, succubus is very nice to join the party. Uh, right kind of flavor for my character, since my character is uh, evil. Well, she's KI neutral, but still, that's pretty uh, cool. Let's check that out. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, eventually, I'll give her some immunity stuff, too. Or I'll uh, definitely keep her in the back. Hopefully, she does not die. I want to keep her alive though so enough I could get the items I need and that's that. Might have to backtrack off screen for the levels but that's alright. Vampiric uh, uh, Bastard Sword. Or they call it Bastard Sword. It's uh, pronounced two different ways. Uh, helmet uh, is I uh, can't identify yet due to the fact my lore sco score is so low now. Yeah I only got 8 lore due to the fact uh, I was going for the Red Dragon Disciple. Yeah I wanted those stat boosts. Yeah, that's the power gamer in me saying get those stat boosts. And the evil gamer in me says, yeah, uh, don't wear a cloak and uh, you have wings. Still, I'm going to wear the cloak. Still, I'll still be evil, though, because it looks great. Let's uh, go ahead and do this real quick. Okay. Yeah, it looks like these bags are really getting filled up. And I did find a uh, vendor, so I definitely will uh, sell that. Now, since it's level 2 of uh, Lord Anton's Den... I will not waste people's uh, time to show what's in the shop. That's only once for level 1 in a uh, new dungeon set. Now, final current call on that's uh, level 7. So, once that's that, that's it. Let's I'll put this here. Okay, I can't do that. Wow, so the six packs are seriously filling up. I will have to start looking for this uh, lolly, of course, too. Which is important. Let's grab this. Let's see where you're at. You, come over here. You're going to carry this for me. Let's see if it's uh, there. Okay, that's it. I had better armor, of course. Let's uh, check this uh, werecat. Yeah, there's werecats here. Ooh, that is nice. That's a nice cat to kill. Uh, You. Let's see here. I'm going to give you that. Okay, good. She can wear these boots. This is uh, nice. Uh, Marley, you get some nice uh, gear from me. Well, cheap gear. Spell resistance. That's all okay. I'll sell it. And it should be a vendor uh, coming up soon. Other than that, this level should be complete of loot. There's two more uh, chests. Let's uh, grab that. Uh, heads of state. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, someone in Devious is really looking for that. Uh, I'm going to keep it on me. That's a nice trophy. Well, since I'm playing a evil character. That's a really nice trophy. That's like, uh, say, yeah, look at that. I got someone's head. And I get to show it off. Also say, if you mess with me, this could be you. See the head of state guy? Yeah, that's you. Holy Avenger Morningstar. Ooh, nice. Yeah, I do have Holy Avenger on my uh, greatsword, and it's good, too. Now, since I am uh, using, of course, using magical devices, I might get some bonuses out of that. Paladins, I uh, will get the most bonuses though. So, if you're a paladin, yeah, definitely want to get Holy Avenger on your uh, weapons. That's all right, Amulet. Let's check this uh, wand out. 
One of so many creatures of uh, four. I think I have a spare one of those. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to say it at this point, I feel like uh, summoning creatures are starting to be out of style. So I'm not going to probably summon them anymore unless I find something that's good, like uh, greater planar uh, stuff. That's always nice. I'm going to go ahead and go off screen and sell. I'm back. I made a lot of gold. I uh, cleared the uh, inventories up. So everybody's all set and uh, good to go. We have one direction to go. And that is, of course, uh, east. We'll end the video uh, towards there. I'll make a nice recap also. Oh, wow. I forgot that chest. I'll have to get it off screen. We're almost arriving. So once we're there, it's time for a recap. I will say, though, this was a uh, good dungeon to explore. Uh, part's gone, but we got ourselves a new character, which is uh, very nice. So let me set everything up. And there we go. So it's time to recap this uh, video. So here we go. Now, what we uh, did was we went down to level 2, clear out the area, found the uh, rune stone, uh, talked to Pert about it. She gave us a reward, left the party. After that, clear another zone up. I met Marley the Succubus, chaotic neutral. She wanted some uh, lolly items, which is good. That's level 2 and 3, so that'll keep me busy for a while. After all that was uh, said and done, I completed a zone. This is it for my Neverwinter Nights Hands Edition Infinite Dungeons Part 24, Lord Anton's Den, Level 2 Start. This is Lord Fent signing off. Thanks for watching and have a great day or night and do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more Neverwinter Nights or Neverwinter Nights Hands Edition builds, walkthroughs, guides, and more videos just like this. If you love what you see, then pick my suggestion on the upper left hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left hand corner. Have a great day or night and do roll a 20.